because of the thing that happened in that state, I don't think Kogi State belongs is part of Nigeria. Because that state is so small that Yaya Bello, the fugitive we are talking about today, ordered the court to transfer his case to Lokoja. Have you, have you heard that before? A suspect ordering a high court judges to transfer his case to his, to, to, to his place of choice. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Okay guys, without wasting much of your time, I want us to go straight down to this news. One that shall never end. Court has ordered Yahaya Bello to face his fraud charge. And come and hear what Yahaya Bello told court. Hi! You see, it's the audacity for me. Yahaya Bello is giving order to the court. See, Nigeria, no level... There is somebody who stole 18 billion naira. I still have the nerve to hold that court, to tell court what the court should do in this case. I will read and at the same time play you guys a video to see the higher bellow audacity to the judge. When I told you guys that this guy, Yahya Bello, is one of the terrorists in Nigeria. This Yaya Bello that you guys are saying is one of the terrorists in Nigeria. You guys would think, oh, he's a lie. According to that, that dirty girl that came out to, do, to be insulting very black dark man. She don't even know who Yaya Bello. But she came out and started supporting this evil man who destroyed Kogi State. Yaya Bello destroyed Kogi State. If you think I'm lying, ask question then you will know what i'm talking about yaya bello the citizens think that yaya bello will do something great in kogi state but that guy frustrated the citizens because he's a young guy he's a young guy who the citizens thought okay he will do good but what happened he took their hat up and he smashed it on the floor. He gave them fake hope. Now, he stole 80 billion naira. This is what he said. Let me read before I play you guys the video. Please, I'll beg you. Share this video. Please. Share this video and Yaya Bello must be put in jail. ESC chairman, you guys need to do... See... Do the right thing, eh? And stop going after innocent Nigerian citizens. Stop going after these people. Because you guys know the real Yahoo people in the country. You guys know the real frosters in the country. But you will leave those ones and be going after these innocent people. You guys see what happened. Please share the video. He said, I pick out other Yahya Bello to face fraud charge. The Court of Appeal, Abuja, on Tuesday, August 20, ordered the former Kogi governor, Yaya Bello, to present himself for trial. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, in April, moved to arraign the former governor for alleged 80 billion fraud at the Federal High Court, Abuja. He was charged with a 19 count charge of money laundry alongside three other suspects, Ali Bello Dauda, Suleiman, and Abdul Salami. Who do this followed a warrant of arrest and aromet order granted to the EFCC by the court on April 17. You heard so what Yaya Bello is saying now. Yaya Bello said he wants his case to be taken away from Abuja and take back to his hometown, Kogi State. Let me play you guys the video. Yeah, this is what happened. Please share the video. Yaya Bello. See, if, if, EFC, if EFCC not if put this man, say may spend years for prison, eh? You know, go good though. Because these are the people who destroy Nigeria. You guys say you saw 80 billion. I mean to say 80 billion fraud charge against this man. But if they say let us calculate what Yaya Bello stole in Nigeria is more than 80 billion. But just because they find him guilty on this one, that's why they say, okay, it is 80 billion. But if you want to calculate, it is more than 80 billion that this man stole. Watch this video. Kogi State is 
state is that I, 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 men of the press, I want you to help me ask the federal government, the inspector general of police, and the, secre the security agents, if at all Kogi state is still in Nigeria. Because most of the things that happen in that state, I don't think Kogi state belongs, is part of Nigeria. Because that state is so small that Yaya Bello, the fugitive we are talking about today, ordered the court to transfer his case to Lokoja. Have you, have you heard that before? A suspect ordering a high court judges to transfer his case to his, to, to, to his place of choice. And the same thing now. The Inspector General of Police is now ordering the Supreme Court to give the judgment on the system. As I speak to you, official constitu constituted panel of the Supreme Court have not been done. Not have been, it has not been officially communicated to SDP Amuritala Yakub Ajaka. As I speak to you, no hearing and no date of the hearing have been passed. So, please, gentlemen of the press, is it possible for a judgment to be given without hearing? And it is important for you men of the press to help us to ask the Nigeria government if Atokogi state is still part of Nigeria. Because the lawlessness is getting out of hand. The lawlessness, the impunity, the torture activity. And you know what? Let me shock you with this fact. My brother, you want to shock everybody with the fact. See, it's not that these guys don't know the truth. They know the truth. But you see, the problem we have in Nigeria are the judges. The problem we have in Nigeria are the judges. Some of these judges, though, because if really the judges want the betterment of that country, who is the Ayabello that is giving order in the courts? Tell the judge what to do. Who is the Ayabello? No. Who is Yahya Bello? Now, who can I explain to us now? Make it make sense. Yahya Bello telling George and the police said, this is what the judge needs to do. And as we speak now, there's no trial, no date of anything. So tell me, how can such country be in good shape when people that call themselves leader are going against the law? The law does not catch up with them. These guys beat the law. They, they see, they don't respect the law. They don't respect the law. That's why when I see our normal youths, citizens, doing something, and the law will catch up with them. See, I will be upset. Like what that lady that came from Italy, who went to Nigeria and told their passports, you see, something like that makes me upset. The real people who does crime in Nigeria, the law does not go for those people. But you see, we the innocent citizens who will just do little mistake. Oh, you call a little mistake. They want to use that person as a scapegoat in Nigeria. But you see people like the Yahaya Bello who is doing the the, the extra large crime in the country. These people, they work freely. Even as we speak, Yaya Bello is still at home. He's still at home. Arrest him. Where you want put him? Which, which, which said they want put him? If they ever arrest him, that has said good day now. Nah. Uh -uh. If they arrest such person, he will be at home. <laughs> as prison. So that is what we are facing in Nigeria. The law does not catch up with these people. And the judge, they don't, they, they don't know their left to their right. They don't know. Do you know why our judge, why they are like that? Because the politicians spoilt them with money. Someone that stole 80 billion naira. He will come outside and give the judge like 100 million, 200, 300 million to cool off. And the guy will just say, <laughs> let's forget about this case. Yes, that's what the country is now. Because bribery and corruption has destabilized Nigeria. Bribery and corruption spoils that country called Nigeria. The only way Nigeria will get fixed and get better, it is when these judges and the lawmakers they change these people. That's the only way Nigeria will get better. That 
that is the only way Nigeria will get better. If not, we will remain in this condition. The judge cannot, the, the judge don't even know how to judge case. Okay, look at what happened in the election time now. Look at what happened. Just look at their judgments. When they were judging case, they were angry. They know the truth. They saw it. They see it. They saw everything. But they were judging it. They were angry. They, like, they were destroying cases. They, was, they never go straight because Paula Ahmed Tiftinibu has pumped a lot of money into their account. So what do you expect? They do not control them. They don't have words of their own anymore. Money controls them. I'm talking about our judge. So look at this Yahya Bello, the case of Yahya Bello. Yahya Bello, since he, before he left office, they've proved this man in a safe country like if Nigeria was to be a same country, Yahya Abelu would have been prison by now. Yahya Abelu would have been prison by now. But because Nigeria is a corrupt country, that's why these people, they're still walking around, still have bodyguard, have security guard, have everything. He should have terrorists guiding them. So how do you expect such people to go to prison? That's why he have the audacity to tell courts. Courts should transfer his case to his hometown because that's where he can do whatever he wants to do. Don't worry. Very soon you hear, okay, Yaya Bello case has been transferred to his hometown because these people, they came to destroy Nigeria. If they can, if they can just share that country, it will be better for me. If they can share Nigeria, everybody go their separate way. See, I will appreciate it because the way the country is, this set of people, Bola Ahmed, and these these people that are ruling the country, they don't want the betterment of that country, Nigeria. So it would be nice if Nigeria is split. Everybody go their separate way. Yes, it would be nice because enough is enough. Who is Yaya Bello giving order to the judge to take his case away from Abuja and take it to his hometown? Like for real? That's a common pace. Actually, that came out to fight for Yaya Bello when you don't know this man. See, on a cop go full very soon. On a cop go full very soon. That's how I end this video. A common pace. Please them to share this video. Give this video thumbs up. Allow YouTube to help us to recommend this video out. The more thumbs up you give, the more YouTube recommend this video out. As you all do so, God bless you. See you guys on my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye-bye.